in the Factor follow-up segment, uh, last night the Factor showed you an undercover video from a Planned Parenthood abortion clinic. And in it, one of the nurses gives advice to two people who are posing as a pimp and a prostitute running a child sex ring. Some of them are like, uh, some of them are young, they're kind of like, you know, like 15, 14. You know, me and my other counselor, like, for the most part, they want as little information as possible. We get a day line, it's that obvious, they may be 15. What if they need an abortion though? You never got this from me. This is to make all of our lives easier. Okay. If they're 14 yeah. and under, yeah. it's kind of unfair if they need an abortion. <laughs> okay. Well, late last night, Planned Parenthood announced it fired the woman in that videotape, but now they refuse to come on the factor and answer our questions about what exactly happened. Yet another development happened. The activist filmmakers who made the undercover tape now say they're getting death threats because of the Planned Parenthood sting. With us now is one of those filmmakers, Lila Rose, president of Live Action, a pro-life new media organization. Uh, Lila, uh, the Planned Parenthood response to fire that woman, but also to say they tried to get us at all these other clinics. Mm -hmm. We reported this to the Justice Department. This is just a, a, an employee gone bad. Planned Parenthood claims that they made reports, but that was only after, and they say this themselves, they became suspicious that it was live action during the investigation. What we've documented, Laura, is across the board, and we've, done, we've been documenting this for years now. They cover up institutionally, Planned Parenthood is covering up the sexual abuse of minors, and now it goes as far as aiding and abetting a prostitution ring. So in this, uh, this uh, thing, you, you were not the person posing as the prostitute in this particular uh, video, but in it, uh, the worker basically is looking at a blind eye toward individuals who clearly are doing something contrary to federal law, which is uh, trafficking in, in children sexually. Uh, what's your take about this as a general viewpoint of Planned Parenthood? Because obviously they're coming out and saying, this isn't us. I mean, we, we're clear. We are not going to do anything that violates federal law. I mean, are you thinking this is rampant? through Planned Parenthood? Definitely, and that's why we're doing this project, because we've known for years now, ever since my first undercover investigation when I was 18, it's four, been four years since then, we've documented the sexual abuse cover-up at these clinics. They don't comply with mandatory reporting laws for sexual abuse. Instead, they're interested in streamlining secret abortion processes and then aiding, ultimately, and abetting these abusers, sending little girls back to the abusers. Now, and you can't find out the real facts on these cases because they're not submitting the appropriate paperwork to the feds. That's your view. I think that the bottom line with the feds is they're claiming that live action went into their clinics and they're saying, how dare they, you know, they're making it about us. It is, these headlines in the Washington Post and the New York Times does focus on you guys. Exactly. And you're doing, you're releasing these hidden videotapes, and you, Lila Rose, are behind this attempt to shut down abortion in the United States. Is that your goal, to stop all abortions in the United States, if you could? One of the goals is to end abortion. I believe it's the greatest human rights abuse of our time, and we need to protect the innocent, unborn children of our nation. They're citizens, too. But part of this, too, is that the other victim of abortion is these mothers, some of them very young mothers who are abused sexually. And so we're turning the focus there, and the, the, the response of Planned Parenthood is to cover up the cover-up, to just continue to try to get the truth to stop be, being told. How much money does Planned Parenthood make annually on the abortion procedure itself? It's depressing to say, but they make 400, 500, 600, maybe 1,000, depending on how late-term the abortion is. That's what but they total, make. total, how much do they make? What's so, their income total, on abortion? Total, they make dozens of millions of dollars off of abortion. Okay. And then they receive a third of their billion-dollar budget from tax dollars. $350 million or so, which they say, exactly. and we're going to have a guest on this, this goes to reproductive health. This does not go straight to abortion. In fact, they're prohibited from, from using this money uh, with the abortion procedure. This money is legally given to them through Title X. But, right? but, Laura, it all goes in the same pot. That money is Fungible. Used, that's your argument. Yes. It, you, it, that money is used to hire managers like the one that's aiding and abetting this pimp. That money is used to set up systems where they can streamline secret services provided for sex abuse victims without reporting it. That money is ultimately used to support law-breaking and abuse cover-up. Well, that's what needs to stop. There, the, the numbers of black babies being aborted in the United States is a, a heartbreaking 30 percent of all abortions done are of black children. Similarly, staggering high numbers of Latino children uh, being aborted in the United States. What are you finding when a sonogram is seen by a young girl? Uh, when she is able to see a sonogram, and be told what, this, what it is she's looking at. 
What are the percentage of those girls who go through with an abortion? Do you have any figures on that? Yes, there are statistics out there that as many as 80% of women who are given that opportunity to be given a different idea about something they can do if they get pregnant, to be given that opportunity to see the facts, the medical facts, to see that this is an unborn child, that even in the first trimester it's developing a heartbeat at only four weeks, that it has little arms and legs, that by 10 weeks it's all limbs are developed. If they have that chance, so many women want something better than abortion. They want to give that child a chance and they want to have a life for their themselves and for their child. You know what I'm always stunned by, Lila, is the media's coverage of the March for Life. Now, you know, this happens every year. It's the longest running march uh, of, of any kind uh, in the United States of America. And the coverage is always in the metro section of the Washington Post. And they focus on the gaggle of, pro, of, of anti-March uh, protesters, the pro-abortion folks. And yet the young people, these high school kids, college kids, this is a young crowd that's out there. And I think if they were marching maybe for politically correct rights, they'd probably get a lot of coverage, but not it's, so much. It's remarkable. I was in 19-degree weather with the rest of them, hundreds of thousands of people in D.C. on the streets, and the media coverage is almost nothing. And this has been going on for years. People have been standing up for the rights of the unborn, for mothers, and the media won't report on it because they're afraid of the grassroots speaking out. You know, covering Cairo, that's fine, but let's cover protests in our own country as well. Uh, Lila Rose will be watching this. Thank you very much.